Hello folks, we are Dad here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm so excited because I am in Diamond City, Fallout 4 VR. As you can see, it looks absolutely glorious. But there is a catch because to make it look like that, you need at least 280 mods. But don't panic because I installed all these mods with just one single click. If you want to know how to do this, just skip to this timestamp and I'll show you very easy. If I can do it, you can do it. Otherwise, stay with me, watch this gameplay a little bit where I show you what this the mods has to offer and then you decide. The first thing you will probably notice so as soon as you install the mod list is the weather. And this mod list offers two type of mods vivid weather and nat x as you can see rainy weather looks great and for me it was really nice to go around in the forest even in foggy days you know shooting that motherfucking boat flies and my favorite time of the day was definitely a sunset with a little bit of fog but to be honest any weather is good to blow up some heads and then of course there are radioactive storms so gorgeous that they make it worth the extra radiation intake can't wait to explore all the other areas to see how they look like when it was a little bit overcast perhaps it was difficult to spot the enemies in the forest but apart from that it still looked very good so for me no complaints at all about the weather mod by the way the mod list gives you a freaking body the mod is called Freak and it works uh, fairly well. And also you get uh, a fully customizable cheat terminal where you can get whatever you like. I wouldn't recommend to use it, but if you want to try out the new weapons and explosive etc, you can. Exciting date, apparently. Oh God, why did I come here? That was not a good idea. Nights are just fucking terrifying in Fallout 4. I mean, the VR adds that extra layer of terror, especially when you find yourself in a gaul infested village during the night. That's nightmare fuel. What I found also incredibly satisfying was the audio of the guns. Absolutely fantastic. And that is thanks to the mods. What did you expect Bethesda to get it right? <laughs> Anyhow, let's talk about the weapons, because that's probably why you clicked on this video. The mod list is called the Modern Tactical Overhaul. That means that you're not gonna find weapons that are exactly lore friendly, but that's not the point, because you're gonna find the Call of Duty weapons. And to be honest with you, they look effing gorgeous. Gosh. I haven't found all of them yet, but those that I found, I love them. Weapons handling is not exactly as you would expect by a native VR title, but to be honest, it does the job. Plenty of weapon mods in this mod list, so have fun! You may also have noted that the HUD is reduced at the minimum and the enemies do not have any energy on top of the head. This of course makes things much more immersive. Although you don't really need the energy on top of the enemy because the time to kill is extremely low. But that's true on both sides. So you can kill quickly but also you are very vulnerable. Pretty cool in my view. On the highest difficulty you can't simply go around and shoot at everything that moves. So you will need to consider a little bit more strategically your attack and the use of covers is mandatory. To be completely honest with you, I'm having a lot of fun with this mod list. It just revived Fallout 4 for me. If you go on the page of the mod on Nexus mod, you'll find a much more detailed explanation of what this mod has to offer more than I can explain in a short video like this one. So I would definitely recommend to give it a go and believe me, it's worth your time. 
If you skip to this point, that's what you want. So now I will explain how to mod Fallout 4 to get this result. All right, first thing first, let's get this mod list up and running. So I have included a link to the Nexus download in the description below. So make sure you grab that. And please be aware that this mod list is designed for those of you rocking a 3070 or higher. If you have an older card, you can still try to install lower resolution textures, which will improve significantly the performance. Now, there are a couple of things you need to do before diving into the wasteland. And first, you have to make sure you have DLC from the regular Fallout 4 installed. That is because uh, the Wobbajack installation requires that. If you don't have those DLC, buy them on sale. Also, I would strongly recommend the premium account on Nexus Mods because otherwise you would spend a lot of time just clicking on confirming the downloads. Now we're gonna do a little of installation dance. I've included a clean install video for Fallout 4 and Fallout 4 VR in case you want to start fresh. This is totally optional, but if you are into that kind of things, yeah, feel free to check it out. After that, it's time to copy the DLC from Fallout 4 to Fallout 4 VR. So you need to grab those 32 files that start with the DLC from Fallout 4's data folder and paste them into Fallout 4 VR's data folder. This step is mandatory, so do not skip it. You can find the relevant installation folders just right-clicking on the title of the game in your Steam library and then selecting Browse Local Files. In my case here, I had already installed the DLC, so I would have, uh, you know, replaced the files anyway. And now the one-click part, the Wobbajack. You need to download the zip file from Nexus and extract it into a .wobbajack file. Yeah, like that, baby. Override them all. And then head over to the Wobbajack website and grab the program itself. Install it and choose the Install from Disk option. Just make sure to install it to a separate folder not shared with the Fallout 4 VR. Now select the target mod list clicking on the three dots and then select the file you have extracted. In my case it was already there. Then choose the install location and the download location. Make sure that those are in root directories. Then you click on that play button and that's it! You wait until Wobbajack finishes the installation process. If your antivirus complains about Wobbajack, just ignore that, don't worry. Just whitelist the installation directory. If you get an error during the installation process, just close Wobbajack and restart it. Wobbajack will restart the download from where it left off, so you won't lose any progress. For other errors, please check out the guidance, I put the link in the description. And you won't believe me, but that's it, now you have just to start up the game. But to do so, you need to open the MO2 from the installed folder and run Playgame F4SEVR. You can find that on the upper right corner. Everything is already included and ready to go right out of the box. When you start a new game, just make sure you stand still and wait for all the workshop framework to run and finish after you create your character. Once that's done, you'll be automatically teleported into the game, so just chill in your house for a while and avoid the buggy intro sequence. Of course, if you want to experience the intro, you can always play the game unmodded and then resume from your save once you leave the vault. Just a little side note, the uh, body mod Freak is disabled on default, but once you create your character and then you exit to the surface, you can enable the mod in the mod manager. It's the last mod in the bottom, so you won't miss it, don't worry. And one last thing, remember that the plugins and mods are disabled for a reason, don't enable anything in block. If you accidentally messed up the mod or plugin order, just use the back arrow on the respective tab to restore the correct order. Please, for the love of God, don't use loot. It's better to restore the plugin order using the back arrow on the plugin tab. When it comes to graphic settings, uh, this is a little bit of a hit and miss, so I would recommend to follow the guidance of the mod list creator. 
and if you are experiencing particular issues uh, there is a link on his discord here in the description he is a very nice chap and very available to discuss any potential issues you might have but if you follow the guidance that he created believe me you should not have any issue in his guidance there is also information about the graphic settings and an explanation of all the mods that he installed so make sure to check it out and the last but not least remember to endorse his work on nexus mod it's the best way to support his effort and let him know how much you're enjoying his content if you found this video helpful please do not forget to hit the subscribe button i've got plenty more exciting content coming in your way so you don't want to miss that out and that wraps out Fallout 4 VR Modern Technical Overall video. So I hope you are as excited as I am to dive into this intense and immersive experience. As always, thanks for watching. Stay safe in the wasteland. We are dead. Signing out.